Yo, what's up? It's a little humid, so the camera's a little fall. Currently in uh, Raleigh, North Carolina today. Well, you guys probably read from the title, but uh, if you recognize uh, either of those two vehicles or that office space right there, you know exactly where I'm at. This is Bun HQ, home of Joe Bun. Today's video, we're, we're, we're actually filming a decent amount of videos today, but uh, today's video that I'm filming right here is going to be a little tour because the whole entire Bun HQ has completely changed. I'm already mind blown walking in the door because it's gone. Joe, what the heck? This was Bun. It's it's even on the wall still there. This doesn't tell you what COVID's done to our whole industry. No, it's no. changed everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, everyone's had to move and change and pivot. Yeah. So I mean, I, I did it mainly, man, because two reasons. One, I was paying for two spaces, which we're gonna see yeah, a yeah. new space down the hall. Two, man, I promise you, even with me like pushing the guys, push, 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 mm. 16 months, we have not seen somebody in person here. 16 months, we have not seen an in-person console. I mean, I'm the same way, I have not seen an in-person console other than like a venue lighting design where they wanted to see in person like yeah. kind of what the lighting would be, but yeah. that's at the venue. Yep, man. No, no one wants to come meet at a Starbucks or anything anymore, like can we just jump on a Zoom? That's, that's what we've been doing, man. And so I was like, man, I'm paying for two spaces. Mm -hmm. I'm the only full-time employee. I'm just kind of wasting money here. And like that's always been my thing, you know. I've preached to these guys before that watch my channel, your channel, like run, lean, mm -hmm. maximize profits. And I was just like, man, this is nothing more than just a place for me to hang out at this point. So moved everything down the hall, which you saw before, but you haven't seen the current iteration. I've seen some stuff on the vault of what this dude has transformed the space into, and we're gonna cut to some areas. Not really in here. I'll, I'll show some clips. We'll show some clips. Joe will insert some overlay over this to show you guys what this space used to look like over here. Yep. But the big transformation down has been down the hall. So yeah. that's where we're gonna head now. Hold up, hold up. We got the flex on the shoes. Oh, Ooh. oh, 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 oh. Joe's all about the kicks. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very familiar hallway. Yes, yes. <laughs> so even it had this little like weird rock garden that wasn't really cool. I think I let my plants die, but anyway. And then I got these like super re weird record covers. Like the guy that was helping me was like, I just went to the store and found the weirdest records I could. And I was like, okay, well I kind of like them. They are weird. You left like, a little price tag on that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know that I've ever heard of, uh, heard of Sly and Robbie, but like. Someone in the comments is going to know what like all these are. Right, right. Oh, I know these. Oh, guys. that was the greatest record. Oh my. Yeah. Oh yeah. my. <laughs> so, took the ceiling out. That's the first thing you'll notice. Remember yeah. Drop ceiling. Hold, before we walk okay. in, we, we need, we're going to cut to some footage real quick of walking in the previous one. Right. Gear. Oh, this is a little bigger. It's night and day. <laughs> yeah. It's completely. You were, the last time you were here it was 2018, 2019. Was it 2019? Like storage room. Right? Yeah, this was a, just a storage room. We were unboxing EV speakers That's right. in here. And it stuff. was. We'll cut to that. Right. <laughs> what all has changed? Because I might not even notice what right. all has changed. And then we'll go through all the little right. spaces you got. So originally it was, like you said, just a storage room. We had all those industrial shelves. And it was basically just where the guys would come pick up gear. And then, again, COVID came. I stayed in there for months and months. Maybe about two or three months ago, I was like, man, I, I was under a month to month lease. I was like, I'm gonna let this space go, move down here. We, we're not really seeing anybody. Even prior to that though, we had made this into like our little shooting studio. We added this closet over here because this was just an open space. Yeah, so this was, was like a big L. L yeah. Right. That closet was there. We put these sliding doors up. We took the drop ceiling out. We put down flooring over the carpet. So this is just one of those fake laminates floors. you just Yep, yep, just put that together. Move the move the gray couch down here from the other room. Move my desk from the other room. Took the rest of the furniture to my house. Obviously threw the neons up. We took down the LED um the fluorescence yeah, the fluorescent. or yeah. Put up a couple pendant lights. Literally, I think I got them for fifteen dollars at this home goods store. Uh huh. And then, you know, I'm still streaming. I try and do once a week, so that technically doesn't go there all the time. Um, 
but it's kind of cool because I'll just run these weird graphics behind me on the TV, just airstream them or uh, airplay them up there. How big is that TV? That's, That's a big TV. That's, That's a, a big TV. <laughs> and then just stream from there. So I got the camera, you know, the mic set up. I'm looking at the comments on the Surface Pro, and then of course my laptop goes on the stand. Then I was like, well, wait a minute though. The guys still come pick up a very few small pieces of things. Yeah. But we still need to store that stuff. And so I really started doing the math, and I'm like, man between this closet and then the one we added up there, like this is more than enough room for up lights. Millions of up lights. Mil your, your friend and mine, uh, up lights. Uh, both up lighting. Both up lighting. <laughs> Gotta love both. Just some, you know, a few bigger speakers. Yeah, wasn't the wall of lights on the back last time I was here? It was. No, there, yeah, there were actually, you're right. We didn't have any of these kind of shelves built. So again, I started doing the math, trying to figure out like, you know, how tall is each light? How many can go in a row? So you got it labeled now too. It's right, more right. efficient. C set, right. B set, A set. That's right. So we know which guys take out which. You know, so even moved in drinks here for when we do have consoles, if they come back. ELX set of speakers if somebody needs something bigger. But most of the guys have their own stuff. I even love these like uh, like Ikea drawers here that I've got labeled, you know, for just adapters and things like that. Yeah. Like, the other day I was just so easy to come in here and grab some. Cold Sparks. Cold Sparks, haven't even used them yet. I got four of them. Yeah. <laughs> may, it may or may not. I basically had a whole other side that, you know, again, wasn't here. And then we went in and put these kind of loss in. So I got my personal set of up lights because I, I leave mine on a certain channel and don't want to mess with. Mm -hmm. DMX. Yeah, merch, hoodies for the guys, shipping supplies, cleaning supplies. These are my totems, the the Novo Pros that I've showed with the two key covers. So I just leave them assembled. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Nothing else, you know. Just, the, just all your, here. yeah. Yeah, you had all the gear spread out last time. Right. It was kind of like spread out here, here, yeah. here. Yeah all the way around here and now it's kind of all nice and organized and yep. compact on the back side and right. leaves so this cool space. You see it if you're a client, if, if they ever do come back. And then also, I mean, at the end of the day, the reason there's no art on that wall is because we moved that couch out of the way, we flood it with light, and that's where I shoot all the, the educational videos for the vault. That's what I was wondering. Yeah. This is honestly was a really good move on Joe's part. I know a lot of the back end of what he, they were going to an offsite location yep. and paying money to film all the educational stuff. Yep. He had two different spaces here. Yep. And basically just combined everything he does into one space. Yep. Really good optimization of space, time, money, everything. Yep. Lean operation. Yep. So I, I, that's, man, that is the key to to my success in the last 20 years is operating super lean, mm -hmm. period. Period. So that was Joe's quick little synapsis, synapsis, whatever, of the whole entire room. Um, and I'm going to say it again on camera. I said it last time, so Joe cut to this, but we'll say it's tinier in person than what it looks like on camera. It's definitely smaller in person than it is in video. I don't, it probably looks massive in video, but this is really just like a little tiny space. I'm actually amazed seeing some of the vault videos he's done where he set up his whole entire... Where'd you set up the full setup? I think I did it on that wall. On that, on that wall? wall? Yeah, on that wall. Just I guess that you thing. have like roughly, what, 10 feet there? It's probably about 10 feet. 10 feet. Yeah. I mean, that's the average DJ setup sure. size right there. Sure. 10 feet wide. He set up his full rig for a vault video over there. Uh, the go through or no that was a youtube video yeah, it was a YouTube yeah, video. yeah yeah oh yeah. joe has a youtube channel now that's new from one the last time we were actually filming uh um, i actually cared about it right that oh was, well it was a vault channel he changed that's right it was the vault yeah it was vault yeah yeah it was dj vault and now it's joe bun we had a conversation about that rebranding it yeah. to be all about joe bun so yeah. part of this video we're filming videos for his channel too so if you guys want to go check out joe bun's channel it's gonna be linked in the description Ooh. down below hit him up give him a subscribe what are you you're almost at 5k right at Right, he's almost at 5k. So if he's not at 5k right now, you guys gotta go blow it up and get him to at least 5k. Please, if not, keep it, keep it climbing. Anyways, <laughs> so he's got a whole video of his setup with his command center and the totems and the movers and the DMXing and all that that he does. He literally filmed it right here, and I think those white walls help give the illusion that this room was a lot bigger than what it really was. But cool little space. This is an easy place to film some videos over here. What is this? This is literally a 10 by 20. Uh, yeah, I mean it can't be much bigger than like a wedding show. Booth, really this is like literally a no this is probably about the size you cut off about where your desk is that's a this is a wedding show booth right here speaking of which those are coming back well they will they actually work though <laughs> we'll find out all the signs got moved over here these are so cool so what what's the the setup over here because i know you got you got yeah, so, you're doing all the live streams now or not streams but consultations are all video now so 
but I, what it, would you mainly for uh, podcasting? You know, so Mike and I do the PHDJ podcast. We record every Wednesday. Comes I, I don't think Thursday. people know you got you got to plug that a little bit. So, he does a podcast yeah. every single so week, we, and we are at. I don't know, four years now, so probably 250 or so episodes. Every uh, single week. Every single week. I did not think, miss a single never week. Never missed a week. We we only replay right around Christmas. We replay this Christmas episode we did. But a DJ in New Jersey named Mike Walter with Elite Entertainment and myself. Basically every week, I call him up on StreamYard. We record it, and then he edits it, and we spit them out every Thursday morning. So wherever you listen to your podcasts, that's where it's gonna be, the PhDJ podcast. All the DJs that create a podcast, including myself during COVID, this dude was doing it long, long before anyone else was doing it. Yeah. And super valuable entertainment, and it's good listening. If yeah. you got a long drive or anything, listen to it, it's good content. 20, 30 minutes, that's about what each episode is. Always DJ related, so if you're a mobile DJ, the PhDJ podcast, find it, listen to it. So what all's the, the setup here? I see you got a red, I can't remember what the heck uh, those are called. Scarlet 2i2 two two is what it's called. Yeah, everyone bought those for Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Scarlet 2i2, and then I just run my uh, EV, so this is the black RE20. This is what a lot of, you you know, your Seacrest and everybody else kind of use. Mm -hmm. uh, this is that Gator Frameworks, yeah, Gator Frameworks boom stand, which I really love. And just got the iMac, you know, where I record it and do some editing, and that's pretty much it. This, I see some fancy stuff. headphones Man, down here. Man, you know, they, they look fancy. They were like Floyd Rose or something. Yeah. And they're pretty good, and they customize them for me. But um, the reason why I like them is they're they're like super low profile. They so they don't good. stick out as much right. as the V-Motos. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Yeah. Nice little hook down there. For, yeah, what's, yeah. what's this over here? Is that a printer? Oh, it's a printer, yeah. Oh, it's jammed up the, over there. The screen looks so <laughs> yeah. fancy. I was yeah. like, what is that? Yeah, I saw you look over there. I'm like, there's nothing good over there. It's a $99 <laughs> printer. Well, to me, I was thinking there was something below it. I thought right. it was like a coffee machine or something right, in the right. corner. <laughs> and of course, you know, this is just to grab if I want to just film something on my own or whatever, but the same as you, right? Or yeah, literally G7X. you're looking at it. Yeah. You guys are looking at a twin. This is exactly <laughs> what we're filming on right now. Same G7X. Everything. So literally, I mean, it's so tight in here. You pivot around. You yeah. got the bun command center right, right here. Right. Uh, if you guys want more info on that, there's links. I got videos on it. Joe's got yeah. videos on it. Yeah. SX3? Yeah. SX3. Yeah, SX3. So this is kind of the streaming setup. What this is like yeah, the this is a boy. super wide angle camera right here. It's called the Hudley Go. It's actually like a conference room camera. It shoots super wide, like almost like a GoPro fish fisheye kind of look. So I hook everything up to the same computer that I'm DJing on. So, so you stream and DJ on the I same did. computer. I did. Yeah. Huh. I do. I don't. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. It works good. It works good. So got I'm the hard line, hard got wine internet. Yep. Super important. Yeah. Camera. And then I'm watching it I'm on watching the surface itself, right on the Surface Pro and reading the chat there. Mm -hmm. And then just commenting here. And then on the screen behind you, the 75 inch, I'm just running like weird ambient. Uh, videos. I'm gonna be honest. It looks like a green screen. It's yeah, so close it's up little, you can't even tell sometimes. Well, I did do. I, I, there was a green screen there once. Then there was a giant mural of this graffiti car. Yeah, yeah. That was there for a while, and then I moved that to my house because it was so cool. I needed it, and now it's just a TV running weird ambient stuff. And then you have the monitors hooked up, right? Got the monitors hooked up. That's what I'm listening to, and then just an LED strip up under that soffit or whatever it's called up there. Adam Audio. Yeah. I'm not too familiar with those. I'm not either, but they are bangers. Like they were recommended to me, I think, by Ben Stowe. And he was like, these are what you need. Like, they're, they're probably more than what I need. Yeah, Ben Stowe is never wrong. If you need any info on audio or <laughs> microphones, Good hit up Ben. One. He will Good tell one. you Good what you need to know. I don't think there's, going going into each room, there's not really much to see here. Yeah. I mean, this is a lot, this is basically Joe's storage unit. Right. Uh, which used to be outside in a very hot oh, shed back right. in the day. <laughs> Yeah, well, that was that was only a couple years ago. I know it was only a couple years. That, I sold it to the landlord. It's still out there, <laughs> hot as hell. This gear didn't do well out there. I remember watching one of Joe's videos before we ever actually interacted, where he yeah. moved everything inside, and he was like, "It's so hot out here. I hate it." <laughs> and I know what he feels because all mine's in my garage right Ooh, now. It's hot. I need to get a split unit in there so bad. I'm looking to see if there's anything interesting for the people. Little tidbits of what Joe uses that 
other people might not consider. Organization, white cables, because he oh, does yeah. an all-white setup. I mean, that's the only... And the, and, the, and the totems in their bags, but we might have talked about those before. Yeah, we talked about it before. Yeah. We showed him the ceremony rig last time we were here, too. That Oh, yeah, yeah, That, yeah. that bad. And Boy. I, I love this little uh, lighting dongle. You know, these little donners? I made this little charging box for these. Oh, wait, hold up. You got yeah. I've, I've been wanting to make yeah. one of these. So, I basically, look, I even, so I, I okay, basically made okay. this, like, little Edison thing. And then I just plug in my power cord here, and then they just start charging. See, I just need to ask Joe what cool things he's got. Because <laughs> this is something I've been wanting to make right. for a while now to right. get my donors charged up. And honestly, we're at the point now where we use all the both lighting that have them built into that's them. That's right, that's right. We just plug these. These are these. the movers, right. I just plug them into an outlet up there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because uh, I've done the, no one really knows this, but it's the Jason J and I where he has the, the conduit inside of the trussing. With yeah, the yeah, already there. Yeah. yeah, so I have that in my totem, so right. I just plug that up there and nice. go with it. This is the carpet yeah, that was, was here. There. Yeah. Well, it is still there, right? Well, yeah, it is under there. Yeah, so this is just an overlaid floor. Yep. It really transforms the space a lot. It does, man. I think that, like you said, everything being like ultra white makes the space bigger. Than On video, look a lot Correct. bigger. Correct. Now, I will, I got one little tidbit because yes. if you guys uh, know from my house and everything, I'm building a studio on the inside while I've been working on it. We've been throwing some stuff in there. Just looking around here and being in here, do you have a lot of problems with echo when you first started? Or do you already anticipate that? Because I see a lot of soundproofing around the room. I did have a little bit of an issue. Um, and then. The drop ceiling tiles, which used to look like these. Yeah. I freaking hated. Oh yeah. So I substituted them out for these more wavy looking ones uh -huh. when the drop ceiling was in here. I think I remember seeing yeah. it. some tidbits of that. And, and then you just removed it. And then I got up there one day and I was like, man, I wonder what it looks like if I just took this down. So took it down and then had a painter come in before all this other stuff went in and just spray it mm -hmm. white. And then an electrician had to move a few lines and that's why this one is gray because that's the newest one. I need to get yeah. in there with a can of spray paint. But it was a little bit echoey, but once I added in some like this rug. Yeah, that's the biggest the one in mind. The rug was the key. Some of these phone tiles mm -hmm. on both sides of where I usually am standing and recording, the couch, anything with fabric kind of helped. Yeah, I, I was just curious because in my little, my studio space is probably just cut off a little bit here. Okay. Well, just a little bedroom basically. Sure. I transformed it into a studio. Sure, sure. I think you got one at your house too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when I first got in there, it had laminate floors. Yeah flat ceiling right and we started doing some films in there uh for college bingos and stuff i do on the side for our company and the first one we did in there i was like doing the audio in the back end for him and i was like just yeah. cringing because i could hear everything yeah. Just, yeah. Uh, everywhere yeah and then i quickly bought like two hundred dollars worth of tiles and just put them up everywhere and that helped but the biggest thing was getting a giant rug yeah. on the floor because of that flat surface it just i literally went to home goods probably paid 199 for it and that helped Tremendously. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So cool. It's such a tight space. It's interesting filming because it's like we're gonna go over here yeah. and then over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. So you got the monitors through the wall there. Yeah. Then yeah, we're already over here, but this is basically uplighting central. <laughs> Just charging and ready to roll. I want to say last time I was here, you had an individual one for each one to plug them in. I did. I don't. I was like. And now you got all the linkers. I just bought a bunch of these little shorty one footer cables and just jump them. You just got to make sure that first one's in and then there's a little red light that you can see as you plug them in, as you know. So I can tell you, Joe's had the both lighting S4s for quite some time because he has ones that use IEC, which yep. is no longer a thing. The, really? All the all the new ones are PowerCon. Oh, you I, have to spit. You have to special order if yeah, you want IECs. I always tell her to send me the IECs. <laughs> I, I, when, even those, I was like, maybe I'll sell those to somebody. Because now they're. I, I'd rather have them all IEC. IEC connectors are a lot cheaper. So there's a little plug. Apparently, you can order. I'm gonna have to hit up uh, <laughs> Cheryl. Hit up Cheryl at both lighting and <laughs> tell her that I need some IEC ones for all my guys. Yeah. So if you guys are interested, in though, let us know. Yeah. How many do you have? Jesus. A hundred and. 20, I think I just now got a hundred so yeah, I think I'm right at 120 So yeah, if you ever were wondering where I got the idea to get both lighting It's this guy right here. I'll also say this Rick and I will both tell you this if you're just getting in the game or just looking into getting Upsells this up is it up lighting is it D don't you can skip the sparklers the movers the this that and the other if you were gonna buy one upsell for this year and go out and sell it and make your money back quickly up lighting up lighting is it
Cold Sparks is not it. No, that is not it. No. Unless you're in New Jersey, maybe. <laughs> and you already got up lighting at that point. Exactly. But seriously, just take some photos of venues with the up lighting off, up lighting on, show it to your clients, and they'll buy so it like easy. that. And these things are so affordable that you can make your money back in four events, no super, problem. Super affordable. So, especially if you do them all with the bags yeah. and everything. Easy transport. My guys just come in, load up 16, take them out. I think we do 550 $550 for 16 It's about what I charged it. Right. So I was expecting this video to be quite long because I thought there was a lot in here from online. But <laughs> it's very compact. It honestly felt bigger last time, but that's because it was all opened up and that's everything. Right. That's but right. There was not that wall right there. Yeah, there was not that wall. There was not that ginormous TV right there. Right. That's it guys for the inside of here. So Joe just mentioned this as a bonus. I've never shown you guys his van. He's posted videos on his van, but I bet a lot of you guys haven't seen it. And the myth, the legend, Joe Bond, I'm sure all you guys wanna know how he operates. So he uses a van and we're gonna go check it out and it's a dope van. Let's, oh. let's fast forward out there. The Bun DJ Company Mercedes van. I gotta, I gotta insert a clip right here because one of the funniest videos I've ever seen him do is where he was looking for a chain and he came out here and grabbed the damn Mercedes logo and put it on a damn chain it was hanging. Rocked it. <laughs> yeah, so we got the matte black logo. I mean, this van is, is set up to be, you know, one man show, load in, load out. Essentially what I do is go to the back door, grab the rock and roller. This is the R18. This is one of the biggest ones. <laughs> that thing is one. massive. Yeah, no, it's massive. It weighs. That's like mine bit. fully extended. Yeah, no, this is big boy. And so then I would go to the side door. I would literally pick up the entire command center, which has the controller in it. I'd lay that on the car. Mm -hmm. Then beside the cart, I would drop the subs for the Evolve 50s. I would take, because the top has one of those plastic deck savers over the controllers. Yep. I would take the towers for the Evolve 50s, put them up there. I would take my toolbox full of cables, and then my backpack with my laptop and my headphones, and I roll in in one trip. Mm -hmm. Unless I have lights, and then I gotta usually come back for obviously a second run. Yeah, you wanna talk about lean. This this is Joe Bun's basic setup. Anything yep. more than this is bringing totems, movers, Correct. up lights. And uh, you still got room for that. Like I would put yeah. my up lights in that side door. I would lay those totems down that you saw inside right here. You know, that that's, I mean, just run super lean, super easy, quick trips in. Wait, so Joe, are you doing CO2 now? I do have CO2, yes. On occasion? Yep, on occasion. It's just expensive, man. It's expensive and I'll be honest with you guys. I mean, I'm, I, I love the effect. I think it's super cool to have a CO2 uh, gun. Club Cannon is probably gonna be your best source for that. But the tanks are a little bit expensive. They're heavy as hell. They're actually super dangerous if you don't transport them the right way. Like you can see that second one right here, I, I, I just uh, had refilled and that's why it's in here. But you can see I have an actual mount and strap for this one that i usually keep in here basically the premise is if you are driving this in your truck and it flips over and the top pops off it will suck the oxygen out of the cab of your car and will kill you if you don't get the window down that is a fact so mm -hmm. they're super dangerous not in terms of an explosion but if that thing gets loose in your van and you don't have the ability to get those windows down fast, you're in trouble. Moral be of the careful. Yeah, moral of the story, be careful. <laughs> be careful. And I guess an even bigger moral, because we've talked about lean a lot in this video, but also just knowing your market and knowing yeah. what can sell. That's right. I know you guys watch my channel, you probably watch Barr's channel. If you notice, there's a huge difference between what I do at all my weddings and what Barr does at my, his I'm weddings. I'm more like Rick down here in North Carolina again. He's an hour and 15 minutes from me now. I yeah. mean, he's originally from Ohio, but he lives right down the road from me now. This is East Coast, Middle America. Yep. I, I want to say from talking to a lot of DJs across the country, and I know you've talked a lot more than I do, what we see here is a lot more of what the average across the nation so. is. I think um, so. With the exception of like LA and sure, sure. some of the more major city, major city stuff. But right. this is what most of our weddings are. They're maybe totems and movers. That's like a new thing, to be yeah. honest. A lot of couples and everything, they're like, what's that? Sure. Um, up lighting is like the only thing around here that everyone knows. Industry most standard. Yep. Yeah. But the CO2, the sparks and all that, it really just, it's not demanded. So it's not a huge thing here. So we, be smart. We, we get good deals on that stuff, guys. And I'll, I'll be honest with you, a lot of that, that stuff, I'm not a big throw it in to, to make the sale. I don't even do that. No. I literally sometimes, if I do have an assistant with me and the wedding's going crazy, I'll be like, go get the cannon out of the car and get the tank. Like, I'm, I'm like, this girl, this girl's going to go off if we bring this out. She didn't pay for it. I'm just like, It'll be 
it'll be dope in the vlog. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, go it get the make, tank. It make dope content. Yeah, exactly. Dope Great Instagram pictures. photos and stuff like Photographer that. Photographer thinks you're a god. Yeah. I mean, that's also part of it. Making the venue and your other vendors, which are what gets us a lot of our weddings. Yep happy anyways guys it's raining so we're gonna we're gonna run inside yeah. all right we back inside and um that was probably a quick video i'm not sure when it gets edited down or everything but i'm pretty sure that was a quick video of updated tour of bun hq me and joe here we're not just filming this video we're filming a lot of videos today good little content day always good hanging out with my man here Dude, I love so family, man. it's been too long <laughs> it's been way too long to be honest but anyways guys we're gonna end this video right here so if you could head on over to joe's channel make sure you hit the subscribe button like his videos follow his content all that stuff uh, the vault all these little this dude's a little entrepreneur here he's got like three four different businesses at this point like the video comment down below what you guys what you guys like here do you guys want to see any more detailed videos what videos do you want to see from Joe yeah what videos can he post on his channel let's know like always guys keep the record spinning and uh, Joe you want to close out thank you guys so much for watching and we will see y'all next time peace